Tarashika. <laughs> kind of Ah, it's but at least it's still early. It's twelve. It's one o'clock now. As soon as I my two, three ish, yeah. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, Tipindeo, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Let me explain a few things. Um, I obviously arrive at the airport. Then you see a video of myself, my dad, and my two brothers. Uh, oh, my dad is visiting my mother-in-law and father's-in-law's place for the first time. So, so they only came just to drop me off. And this evening was just the three of us. So you saw me making a, a bit of dinner and stuff like that. But when we arrived, um, there was a helper, um, mom's helper. Um, who made us a very lovely meal um, but she only comes in the morning and leaves in the evening so tomorrow my dad and my brothers are going to come again but this time they're going to sleep over um, so it's going to be a really busy day for me so in the, ne in the next few clips you'll probably see me uh, going shopping um, cooking and serving you know food and stuff like that so they'll sleep over I'll probably vlog. I, I, I don't know what I'll be able to vlog because it's going to be busy. Um, so I, I just thought, let me explain the context of what's happening uh, because I may not be able to speak as well. <laughs> you know, so it's a bit 
because it's kind of like a bit of a process okay obviously my dad comes to visit and stuff like that so it's not like a oh hello kind of thing even though you know like i did manage to vlog a little bit earlier today um so i've also got another cousin who's coming to help me tomorrow with the cooking and stuff like that so she was at my lobola day as well and she, she helped out with that which was then what will happen is so my dad and my brothers will sleep over and then in the morning we'll make them breakfast and stuff like that and then we will be on our way to my family homestead which is in Mashingo which is about a three hour drive from Harare so where I am now is in Chitungiza Harare um that's where my in-laws live so we'll be driving to Mashingo which is about Technically, it's three hours, but with the roads and the way the situations are, it can take anything up to five hours, uh, particularly with a certain place called Pambudzi, which is a junction just as you're coming out of Harare. People have been stuck there for two hours and, you know, not moving or moving a little bit or whatever it is. But um, there's quite a lot of traffic, so people have been stuck there for a good two hours. But once you pass that bit... It can take up to two, three hours to get to Mashingo. So, yeah, so we'll be going to Mashingo tomorrow and then I'll be just chill from there because I'll be home and I've got young brothers and sisters that will be doing all the other stuff. So it'll be chill for me, but it's going to be a bit hectic uh, tomorrow and um, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, so tomorrow and Thursday evening, Thursday morning. Um Maybe even lunchtime, I don't know. But we, I plan for everyone to have left because I'm not cooking lunch again. I would rather buy some chicken in on our way. <laughs> oh, God. I know, but I, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. You know, when when you're not in your own kitchen, because I cook all the time. I cook for people. I cook for multitudes of people. But when you're not in your own kitchen, um, and when you don't, when you don't know where the utensils are and maybe... And also in Zimbabwe, like earlier when I was cooking, we were cooking on the gas stove because the electricity had gone. So it's like, okay, you've only got two plates. But if I'm cooking for a, a whole lot of people, I may need to light a fire, which might happen tomorrow. That you know, That's why I've got my cousin to come and her daughter might come as well. And then because, like I said, it's more of a process. I've got these elders you know, you have to serve them food. So it's not like a matter of, oh, there's a buffet, come and get your own food or, you know, whatever. You have to sort of put it all into plates and stuff like that. So even just thinking about it is kind of stressing me out a little bit. But right now it's uh, midnight. Um, I, I've been up since six this morning because I was in Johannesburg. Um, so that's where I was. And then now I am in Chitumbiza. Harare, it is boiling hot. I'm wearing a long sleeved uh, pajama set uh, only because I get bitten by mosquitoes. It's so bad. Um, but here in Harare, it's not too bad. In Mashingo, oh my god, oh god. I even bought a mosquito net, but you'll see all that anyway. I'll probably vlog it trying to put the mosquito net up or something like that. But um, yeah, so anyway, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling. I'm so sorry. I just thought, you know. Um, I'll give you context. I've done my facial care, facial routine, washed my face and stuff like that. As you can see, we put some ice eye cream on. <sighs> and also not forgetting my SPF, so sunscreen is a must. But yeah, you know I'm talking too much and I am sleepy. So and it's a long day. Bye. See ya. Also tomorrow I need, or at least in the morning, I need to make a list of what I'm going to make, what I'm going to cook, and then go and shop it as well. Um, I'm going to have to catch some combis. I think it's, uh, what complex am I going to? Oh, oh Lord. I'm not, I'm not from Harare. I'm not from Shtungiza. So I don't, I don't know. But, um. My, my my mom mentioned it earlier, the area that I'm supposed to go to, um, to do the shopping. So there's an OK there. I think there's a pick and pay. Um, so I'll go there tomorrow. We'll try and go as early as possible before it's way too hot so that everything is in the house and then we can just cook. 
um, yeah, the helper will be here tomorrow and she'll help me with the shopping. Um, but I think she leaves early. I think today was a special day, as my mom explained it. She usually just comes in the morning and by like uh, midday she's left. Um, maybe not even midday, like, I don't know, 11. Uh, but today was a special day because obviously she, had, she cooked for us and stuff like that. So she was here until about uh, quarter past three. No, quarter past four. She was here until about quarter past four today. Um, so, yeah. If there's anything else I need to fill in, just ask in the comments or whatever. If I've lost, if, if something doesn't make sense to you when you watch it. But I'm trying to explain it now so it doesn't, it makes sense to you guys. But yeah. Oh, one last thing. Um, the invitation for dad to come was on my behest. So I invited him. I wanted him to come and see where I now live even though I live in the UK with my husband but this is my sort of now like this is where we now live as a family because you know I've taken the family name and stuff like that so I just want so I invited him to come over to see because he'd never been and that kind of just opens the door for other visits between themselves when we're not here um yeah and, I, and obviously I mean Lawrence and I have been married now since 2019 so my dad has never been here, but her uh, mom has been to our um, ancestral ancestral home as well as our our home in Mashingo. So Kumusha, so she's been Kumusha. Um, there was a not a funeral, Manyarazo, and then there was something else that she came for. Oh no, not for oh, 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 What did she come for? Yes, no, no, no. That's right. There was a, a death in the family and then she came, but I wasn't here. I was still in the UK. I didn't come down. And then she came in 2020 when I came. Uh, there was Manyarazu. Um, so she came for that. Um, but yeah, so she's been twice. Dad hadn't been. It's a little bit difficult when your mom's passed away. Um, because I was saying to dad that um, if mom had been alive or had, was alive, she would have already done the visit to here you know what I mean like uh, mom lost her sister uh, in January and um, that you know m my mom would have definitely come down to sort of say but you know for men I think it's a little bit difficult they just want that little bit of um, process into it to sort of say hey come to the home kind of thing but um, yeah anyway that's the last bit I'm going to be talking now um I don't think there's anything else, but, um, yeah. Bye. <laughs> 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 it's a grocer wrong writer. How much was it? One dollar. Look what you got my every day. She begged you one way to Bye. <laughs>